Richard Southern is back with us to discuss some of the more interesting stories of the day. And Richard, if you have ever found yourself raising your voice in order to be heard on a Zoom call, it turns out you're not alone. I, I, I raise my voice all the time, Erica, just for fun, <laughs> you know me always yelling. Uh, but listen, there's a new study out. I'm not sure why they study these things, but there's a new <laughs> study out that finds uh, speaking loudly and gesturing wildly on Zoom uh, is a pretty common thing. Uh, research finds we do this when the online video quality degrades. You know, as the picture gets worse on Zoom or Skype, the louder we talk and the more we flail our <laughs> hands around. Researchers found, uh, we researchers found, Erica, we increase the volume of our voice on average five decibels when the video <laughs> quality starts dropping and even when the image quality decreases so much that you can't even see each other we continue to use crazy wild gestures now i'm not sure what we take away from this other than of course it doesn't really help the technological no. problems right uh, but i guess just one of those things we start doing when things go wrong no Erica. need to gesture wildly i noticed some people too would go in closer like their head would come closer to the camera because they're trying to be hurt kind of like that yeah um that i don't think works either so okay uh, meanwhile archaeologists yeah. have dug up what they believe is the fossilized re fossilized remains of a dinosaur that was killed during an asteroid strike uh, the big asteroid strike, Erica. This is really interesting. They found now, scientists, a, uh, the, a leg of a dinosaur in North Dakota. But what's really uh, special about this find is that it's believed that this particular uh, dino was killed and entombed on the actual day the giant asteroid struck Earth 66 million years ago, uh, almost annihilating the dinosaurs. Scientists say the limb, uh, complete with skin, looks ripped off uh, from the uh, dinosaur body. There's no evidence of any disease, and so they think it was kind of blowing off when that big asteroid struck. Along with the leg, uh, they also found uh, some uh, fish that breathed in some impact debris that rained down from that big asteroid strike. They also found the fossil of a turtle that was skewered by a piece of wood. It is now widely accepted, Erica, that a roughly 12 kilometer wide asteroid struck wow. Earth 66 million years ago, putting an end to the dinosaur. Isn't that cool that we can pinpoint something that happened one specific day 66 million years ago? I know. I, we can't even remember what happened yesterday. I know. It's incredible. And can you imagine just the, the size, the magnitude? It's crazy. Uh, interesting. Okay, and speaking of asteroids, scientists at NASA say they have found the largest comet ever seen, Richard. Yeah, speaking of asteroids, is there one coming for us, Erica? Well. NASA's Hubble Space Telescope has confirmed uh, the size of what is now the largest comet ever discovered by astronomers. Uh, it's identified as a what they call a behemoth comet, and it has uh, an estimated diameter of approximately 60 miles. This is basically the size of the U.S. state of Rhode Island. Its mass estimated to be... 500 trillion tons. But good news, Erica, this is not going to ruin our Easter or Passover weekend. Uh, NASA says it won't be of any concern when it makes a close pass to Earth in 2031. It's going to miss us by about the distance between Earth and Saturn. So no wow. need to worry. We're good, I'm glad. Erica. Okay, thanks, Richard. Uh, we are not having our chat tomorrow, but we'll see you next week. Happy Easter, happy weekend.